what if I could have my pool controller turn the fill line on? So at our current house, there's a pool, there's a fill line that goes to the pool to keep it filled with water, water evaporates, but the, the valve to turn the filler on is manual and it's nowhere near the pool. So let's fix that. Job done, right? How does it work? So the pool controller is here. The fill comes out of there. And then the valve is on the other side of the fence near the house. This is the old manual fill valve. And I replaced it with an electronic irrigation valve. So this area, uh, just outside here, there's the some irrigation valves and the new electronic pool fill valve. Uh, so I just piggybacked on one of these signal wires, and this is uh, my current testing setup. I'm kind of stealing the power from the irrigation controller. Uh, but we have the relay. The relay, whenever um, the pull valve is on, this will be told to close the circuit, so it'll open the valve for the water. And that's signaled by this little ESP8266 D1 Mini. The way we do this is the pull controller is available on the local network uh, with an undocumented protocol, but you know, we can sniff that. And the second step is to send the information that we gather from the pool controller to a system that can turn on and off that, that, um, that valve. Uh, the way we can ask the pool controller is using, it's, it's like this JSON over TCP protocol. Um, and we're asking for object type for circuit. And I want a bunch of properties about that. And there's a lot of different circuits listed in here, but I have one called fill. And it says status is off. So we can actually use uh, JQ to get the status once per second. So it's off right now, but if I were to turn it on with the, the mobile app, then it would say on. And then the next step is taking that information and sending it to uh, a relay. The way, the way that we control the relay is with a project called ESP Home, which allows you to take uh, little ESP8266 and ESP32 microcontrollers and configure them uh, without having to write any code. Uh, and then you have the configure using YAML. So in this case, I'm using a D1 Mini as the board, which is a, a developer board that runs the ESP8266. And then on that, I'm just connecting pin eight to a relay that set that uh, energizes or de-energizes the uh, irrigation valve. Pretty simple. Uh, I don't have to write code, which is awesome. So ESP Home is a great tool for that. Um, and in, instead of writing some code that will do that talking, uh, I'm going to take this shell one-liner and it's going to output on or off for the state of the pool switch. And it's going to send that to the pool valve. So I'm going to pull up the, on my phone, I'm pulling up the uh, pool controller application. And I'll turn the pool valve on. We'll see if that works. All right, it's on now. So the next read should say on, and there it is. And I just heard a little click that the relay switched on. We'll turn it off. Pretty cool. So why do this at all? Uh, for starters, uh, I didn't want to run a wire from the pool controller to the irrigation valve because it's it's quite a distance and it go and it travels across several walkways. Uh, and doing th that safely would have been irritating. You'd have to tunnel under the s sidewalks and such. Uh, I didn't want to do that. Two, uh, why do this? Why have the pool controller available to activate the filling? Well, when I think about these things, I think about who's the user going to be, even for home projects. And for my home projects, I kind of have a rule that uh, 
the maintenance shouldn't be confusing. You shouldn't have to use any kind of arcane hacks that I might be building. Um, and so the users in this case could be me, uh, my partner, uh, or the, the pool technician. And if the pool technician comes to the pool and decides we need water in it, from the pool controller, you can just tap a button to say start filling, and that'll, that'll talk to my software, which will turn on the pool valve. And here's what the technician interface might look like. You go to the pool controller in the panel, features, fill, and that should start the water coming. There we go.